In this lab for the Advanced GIS class at Carnegie Mellon, we're going to work with ArcGIS's Vector Tile Style Editor. Now you can find this tool simply by doing a web search for it. Uh, it's one of the developer tools that Esri has released, and among other things, it's going to let us um, edit the vector line work styles, colors, and organizational layers, and other elements that contribute back to our base map. Um, and that, all that's to say that it's going to let us essentially build our own base maps um, uh, in ArcGIS that then we can use later. So I, I like this tool. I, th I find it uh, particularly easy to use. So once you go to the site and you click that uh, big green button um, in the middle there that says get started, um, you'll be taken to this page. And from this point, we can just start selecting one of the examples that we're already pretty familiar with um, and start kind of putting our own creative spin on it. So um, in this case, um, you know, we're in, we're in Pittsburgh uh, as, as we're at Carnegie Mellon University. So um, I think for this example, I'm going to try and use kind of a, a, a pirate theme uh, to go along with uh, the baseball team here. So um, what I'm doing is I'm basically looking for something to kind of start us off here. And probably either one of these examples at the top will work here. I have this mid-century one here and the modern antique. I think for this example though, let's go ahead and go with um, modern antique for this example. Now, if you're following along, you can certainly pick anything else that that um, strikes you. And again, this is just gonna give us a good place to start. So I'm gonna pick modern antique and here I'm just gonna click select style and that's gonna load it into our editing window here on the left. And then on the right, we can see how the map is actually being rendered uh, in that current style. And then down here at the bottom, we can see how it looks kind of as a, at a regional extent and a city extent and then at a, a street level extent. So that's a, that's a pretty good uh, start, um, you know, like I said, maybe for this map, I, I want to go for something that's that's a little more of kind of a, a pirate themed map. Um, so next, I'm going to go to one of my um, other favorite sites. Uh, this is uh, color.adobe.com or Adobe Color, and I find that this is really useful for being able to find inspiration for various color palettes. And up here at the top, you'll see an option to click on Trends. So I'm going to do that. And here in the search box, let's see, let's go ahead and start with uh, pirates and see if anything strikes us as interesting. So I'll type that in. So I see a guy here with a, looks like a rum bottle. And I have some ships on the sea. So I've got, I've got some things and then I've got actually some map examples, which might be good places to start as well. Um, but let's do, let's do another search. Let's do a search for Kraken for an old sea monster. All right, so I've got some additional options here. I think let's go ahead and go with this one. So this one is based on an ad, but I kind of like this color scheme. It's sort of a, a, a black and gold color scheme, so that, that fits Pittsburgh well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And when I do, what you'll notice here is that I actually have all of my hex codes for this palette ready to go. And if you noticed in the ArcGIS Vector Tile Style Editor, that's all I need to start changing my map. So from this point, it's just a matter of taking these hex values and copying and pasting them into the various um, themes here. And you know, I can I can continue to customize it. I can click on this. Uh, button on the menu here, edit layer styles if I want to start diving into more detail. But what I would do next is just essentially start clicking through each one of these um, and modifying it and kind of via trial and error, see what I come up with. All right, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. I'm going to click back up on my click edit option here and starting with land. Let's see if I can find a good color that will replace this general selection here at the top. So, all right, for this one, I'm just going to choose the center one. It's kind of a neutral color. And again, I'm just simply copying and pasting these amount or this, uh, these hex codes in. And next, let's get the next one here. All right, I'll try this darkest here, this darkest color. 
right, so that's starting to, to shape up kind of nice. Um, I've got some contrast issues I'll definitely have to solve for. Uh, let's try this lighter color here, this kind of bright yellow. Let's try and use that for roads. And again, the nice thing with kind of the, uh, the multiple scales here is I can start seeing how these are actually rendering at various zoom extents. And I'm going to use that color also for building. So let me come down here and I'll paste that in, see how that looks. And then for this middle color, let's see, for boundaries, let's use, um, all right, I'm going to use this kind of brown. And for nature, I'm going to use the same thing here. All right. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Okay, great. So I can start zooming in a bit. Get a better sense of how things are rendering. Uh, maybe I want to enhance my labels so I can come down here to label colors and I can click this pick label colors option here and from here let's see do I have a good color I can use here hmm. Actually, I think I'll leave that one alone let's change this halo though let's change the halo to kind of a brighter yellow see how that looks all right, well, that's helping my labels pop out a bit. I'm going to leave pretty much everything else the same here. OK, so you can obviously see there's a lot you can do here. Um, from this point, I might continue to edit it, um, you know, customize uh, topography, some other things, uh, add, remove some of the layers whatever I would need to do to get the space map looking how I like. And then once I feel pretty good about it, I'm just gonna click this save as option here and we will change it. Let's call this, um, we'll call it our Pittsburgh pirate map. And maybe we wanna add a note here. Um, Then you can change the sharing options here. I'm going to leave it as private for now and click save uh, style here. And so that's going to update uh, my ArcGIS Online account with that new base map. All right, and so from here, what I can do is I can log into my ArcGIS Online account. And I'm just going to drag that tab over. And under my content, I'm going to do a search now for that new layer that I just created. So Pittsburgh pirate map, and there it is. And if I click on it, I'll see here at the bottom, I have an option to use it as a base map. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And now I'm off and running with my new map. So that should get you started with the first lab. And uh, like I said, you can certainly go back and do a lot of customization from this point forward, but um, this should get you a long way down the road in terms of setting up your own custom base map.